Hi, this is Sean Batchelor. I'm with the tech support department for uh, Speakercraft, and what I'm here to talk to you about today is the RSA 1.0. So MacGyver device is something we've created to uh, do a whole bunch of different kinds of things, which I'd like to talk to you about today. Some of the things it can do is uh, integration with third-party devices. So you can actually hook this in between the MCC system and another device to get metadata on your keypad. Some devices that we support are our own Jukebox and uh, RSCT 2.0, but there's also other devices like uh, Eshian Fireball devices, Onkyo tuners, uh, Integra tuners, stuff like that, so you can get uh, the whole experience on your metal keypads. Also things we can do with it is expansion to RS-232. So if you want to control an RS-232 capable device from the MCC, you can actually hook one of these up to it and control it just like you would any other RS-232 device. We also offer IR to RS-232, so you can actually stand alone from anything else, download a program into this guy that can accept IR light from an IR receiver and shoot out an RS-232 code to control things all stand alone by itself. We also have the option to uh, work with the uh, MCC control interface. So you can control the MCC and do pretty much anything you could on the keypad and sometimes even more from uh, an RS-232 capable device like a touchpad or something like that just by using one of these guys. But uh, the first step in doing all of this stuff is flashing the RSA with the correct firmware. That's step one. What I'd like to do right now is show you how exactly we do that. All right, now we want to flash the RSA. The first thing we want to do when we're flashing an RSA is hook it up to a power supply. Now there's two kind of power supplies that you can hook it up to. One is our regular old PS 1.0, stuff we use for pretty much everything. You want to plug that into the 12 volt DC right there, get that little red light. The other power supply you can hook it up to is the MCC itself, the piece of Cat 5. You just plug one end into the expansion port and the other end into the port on the RSA. Again, getting that little red light. If you don't see that red light, either means that the power isn't on in one of your devices or the programming switch is set to on. You want to make sure that it's set to off. The only th next thing you want to do is hook it up to your computer. You do that by a regular control port cable, four conductor control port cable. Same one you use to program the MZC. Take it out of your MZC, and plug it into the control port right there. Now that we have it hooked up to a power supply in our computer, we want to select the right firmware on our computer. We'll see that right now. So now that we have our RSA hooked up, we want to go into our computer in Easy Tools and flash it with the correct firmware for what we want to do with it. So let's do that right now. With your Easy Tools open, you're going to want to go up to Tools, Update, Upgrade Product Firmware. If you select that, you're going to want to select your serial port, click Next. Then you're going to want to find the correct thing that you want to do with it under Select Product. Click the little drop down box up there and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of things the RSA can do. What we're going to do today is uh, get it hooked up with our, uh, our mode jukebox. So let's go ahead and select that right there. Make sure we have the most correct version, which we do. Let's go ahead and click next. You're going to get a little error that pops up here just letting you know just uh, you're connecting to an RSA, you want to flash it for a mode jukebox, are you sure that's what you want to do? Which it is. Now first, step one right here is you're going to want to switch this programming switch to off, which we did in step one. Now we're going to want to go and switch the RSA to on, which is that little dip switch on there. You're going to want to switch that from off to on. When you do that, you're going to see that the little red light goes away. Don't worry, that's okay. Then you're just going to want to click upgrade, and if everything's working, you're going to erase the flash, and then program it. All right, so we've upgraded our RSA. It took about 30 seconds or so, and all of a sudden we get this little message pops up, firmware upgrade successful. So we're going to go ahead and click OK on that. Now all we have to do is set the programming switch back to this or off. That little programming switch right here, just take that right back to the off position, and now we should see our red light come back. So that means that we have the RSA with the correct firmware in it. Now all we have to do is connect it to our third-party device, the Moju box. All right, so now that we have our RSA with the correct firmware in it, all we have to do is hook it up. So first thing we're going to do is hook it up to the MZC, do that as you would expect via the CAT5 on the expansion port. Just take CAT5 from your expansion port on the MZC to the expansion port on the RSA. Again, you're looking for that little red light. Then you're going to want to connect up your third party device on the RS232 side. We use a couple different cables for different kinds of devices. What we're going to do is hook it up to our Moju box, which uses a null cable. So we're going to take that, plug that into the RS232 side of things. 
Once that's hooked up, we should get a green light, solid green light. That means that we have communication in between the third party device and the MZC. If you don't see this green light, it means that either your firmware is a flash right, your third party device, the MZC is not set up right, you have some problem with the cables, go over your whole setup. If there's a flash and green light, probably means you have the wrong firmware in the RSA. But we got ourselves a solid green, solid red, which means we're in communication. All we have to do now is set up the program in the MZC to see this RSA and to see the jukebox. Let's do that right now. Now let's set up the program. This is our uh, default MZC88 program right here. And as you can see, I'm clicked on the source setup section. And the first thing I want to do is change my source to the jukebox. Click a little drop down here. Our uh, third party devices are all set up here in different places. The jukebox though, set up right under jukebox one. After you do that, you can see the, uh, the address. The address is what matches up to the address wheel on the RSA. That's that little wheel right there. You're going to find out where that arrow is pointing to, which on my case is set to D, and set it up in the program. Click a little drop down to see all the available addresses. Select D. All I have to do now is click apply. Easy Tools lets us know that we're selecting a jukebox and just make sure that that's okay, which it is. And we're all done. So now all what we want to do is download this program into our MZC88. So we take our control port cable, plug it into the back of our 88, you can also plug it into the front, and hit download. And after the progress bar is done, our program is in the 88, just like that. All right, so we've flashed our firmware, we've hooked it up to our third party device, and we've downloaded our program into the MZC. Let's see if it worked. So let's look at our remote keypad right here. I see that there's jukebox, like a program. Let's hit that button. And there we go. We see that second page of data, our metadata. And I can see my playlist. I can see my artist albums, genre, all that kind of stuff, thanks to our levels from the RSA. So that's pretty much it for hooking it up to a third party device. We'll come up with some other videos showing you how you can hook it up to expansion devices, IR to RS-232, and all that other cool stuff that we're going to show you. So uh, thank you very much. If you have any advice on what shows we can do or any uh, questions, you can email me and all the guys at techtips at speakercraft.com, and uh, I'll join you next time. See ya.